Hello you Royce here and welcome to our channel Santi Video 101 So for this episode, uh, we're going to do an, an, an emergency uh, top cut uh, method of uh, planting uh, this uh, specific specimen By the way, this is the Santi Villa hybrid known as uh, Chai Yo And this is by the way a uh, hybrid coming from Thailand and was bred by the uh, Suwon Unyamani Garden by the Pramodi uh, brothers and what happened to uh, this uh, specimen is the uh, stray cats uh, used it as uh, a stepping board to uh, go up the roof so when that happened uh, they snapped the uh, this specimen in two so they, they snap the Centibri Hybrid Chai Ho in two. So I'm left with the bottom part and the upper portion. I'm not supposed to do uh, the top cutting method as of the moment. But uh, since it already happened and uh, the cats decided to do so for me, uh, I have to thank them by the way since... I have I ended up having uh, two plants and I ended up doing it right now instead of uh, doing it uh, in a later um, time so I was uh, trying to decide uh, whether to top cut it or to transfer it since the top uh, portion is becoming very heavy heavy uh, but uh, this happened and the uh, stray cats decided to do it for me so I'm forced to do it now instead of on a later time by the way I'm holding the top uh, part of the uh, sensory hybrid chayo uh, I'm going to uh, give you a brief description later on of uh, the characteristics of this uh, specimen but right now what I'm holding is a very heavy uh, heavy top uh, part portion that was snapped in two so um, I had to remove some leaves off the uh, bottom part to make sure that there is room for the roots to grow and I'm going to uh, plant it like that on this uh, pot by the way the pot measures about uh, eight uh, inches in diam diam di uh, diameter or I think uh, 8 to 10 I think uh, that's the uh, size of the pot that I'm going to transferring uh, I'm going to transfer it over as compared to that a small pot which is about uh, 4 to 6 inches I think so um, this is uh, the top uh, part and uh, the bottom part um, it's uh, wounded so we have to uh, apply some uh, first aid to make sure that uh, we di disinfect the wounded area of the plant so uh, it will not be infected by funguses or bacteria and we have to seal off the wound uh, using uh, hydrogen peroxide to disinfect it and using nail polish to seal off the wound so that we can replant the top portion and uh, we can make sure that the bottom part doesn't rot so in the future they would uh, give us more uh, pups uh, I hope so I guess uh, this is it for uh, the introduction so right fellas we'll be uh, working on with this pot it's a terracotta pot and uh, we're going to do some magic with it this is how big the pot is. I think it's uh, about 8 inches to 10 inches from uh, this small pot. I think this is a, a 6 inch uh, pot just for comparison. Alright, there it is. And we'll be upgrading to a bigger pot. By the way, I'm leaving uh, this uh, end of the 
uh, or this part of the uh, Santa Maria Chayo, Chayo, and uh, we're going to close up that wound over there and leave it. I'm pretty sure it will grow uh, pops on its own, and then the uh, top portion will be planted on this bigger pot and uh, perhaps in the future we'll also have uh, pups of, of their own uh, these are the uh, leaves that I have taken off because they can't be buried on that uh, on this pot they can't be buried or they, they, they will just rot so better make use of them and I'll show you later on how I will be propagating the leaves. This is the uh, stem part. I have to clear it out and those were the uh, leaves that I have uh, taken off of them. I needed to clear the bottom part of this uh, uh, top cut portion. Anyway, the uh, leaves that are go going to be buried, they will be, they will rot if you don't take them out, and uh, the roots will have a hard time growing. So the leaves that I've shown you have uh, uh, or came from this uh, part of the uh, top cut portion. All right, so I'll be back. I'll just uh, finish up uh, up uh, preparing the bigger pot. And then we'll start planting this uh, big boy. Alright folks, so I'm preparing the uh, pot. I'm uh, just uh, doing some uh, gold lining. I have some spare uh, gold paint anyway and they're just going to dry off so better make use of them. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, just painting the lining and I will uh, show you later on when I'm done with it so we can start uh, planting the Santiviria chai ho on this uh, pot. Alright folks, so we're done with the pot. And we're going to prep the uh, Sensibir Chaiho and we're going to plant it in this uh, pot that we have prepared. Alright. So, alright, fellas, I think we're ready to prep up the. Uh, Sensibria hybrid uh, chai yo and uh, we're going to have an inspection first all right so it's the cat that uh, toppled it down and uh, there are some damage some damage over there oh my god all right uh, fortunately uh, when it fell the leaves did not uh, break. Just uh, some minor scratches when it fell. Right. Tips were bent, but not broken, uh, fortunately. So, the way it grew is kind of tilting over. So I guess we can, you see it's tilting over, that's the uh, the stem over there. And uh, just a piece of advice, when you uh, do the uh, top cut method or if your cat decides to top cut your plant for you, uh, feel, uh, you know, you, you you can uh, just be confident to replant it when you see these uh, these are called aerial roots 
and the orange part is the stem so we have taken off a lot of leaves from it lots and lots of leaves so don't throw them away because we're going to uh, leaf propagate them no problem uh, doing the leaf propagation because this is a non variegated uh, specimen so if you plant the uh, leaves no problem it will retain all the characteristics of this specimen so the specimen is non variegated it's just green green form when you leaf propagate it all the characteristic will be carried over since they don't have the chimeric genes or the variegations on them all right so again uh, I'm trying to focus on the uh, cut portion like I said the uh, cat some stray cat toppled it and broke it in half so it's not a clean cut so first things first is again use the hydrogen peroxide spray on it but I already did that so the next step would be closing the wound by using either if you have super glue if you have abundance of super glue you can use that but I have an abundance of the nail polish so folks from the store were actually wondering why I bought them since I'm a guy and uh, they were wondering you know they're looking at me uh, why I'm purchasing a lot of uh, nail polish and I didn't have to explain myself though it's for my plants it's not for me all right so there you go fellas so we're going to uh, use some nail polish all right my wife is with me when I purchased it so no problem like I said there's already uh, sprayed the uh, hydrogen peroxide on this part so it's disinfected we just have to make sure that this part is uh, sealed off properly all right all right so we have applied the nail polish on that part however on some parts I'm not a I'm not sure where I opened up wounds when I took leaves on the stem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get uh, the powder form of a uh, fungicide this one's what, what I use I put them on this container so that I can easily sprinkle it when I need to sprinkle on the medium or the potting mix makes things easier for me and I can just open it up and then use a brush use a brush all right we don't wet it or we don't dilute it with water because water would uh, seep in to the wounds and sometimes it would be the one that would cause uh, rotting to the stem part or the root uh, system of uh, Sansevieria so as much as possible we apply things dry powder to cover up what we have uh, plucked out the wounds that we have plucked out from the stem okay there we go try to brush it on the parts where you have plucked out the leaves to make sure that they are protected from external substances that may enter to through the wounds and would cause 
the stem to rot all right by the way i already sprayed with uh, hydrogen peroxide on these parts these parts where you have removed the leaf leaves hydrogen peroxide works to uh, disinfect the wounded area and as well as makes it uh, heal faster or callus uh, more faster than it should all right so we're going to uh, give it a moment to have the uh, nail polish dry and then we're going to plant chai ho on this pot and uh, this by the way this by the way this uh, nail polish by the way is uh, fast drying so it would just take a few seconds for it or a few moments for it to dry okay so we're done with the top portion this is uh, the bottom part so it's again it's not a clean cut and I sprayed the hydrogen peroxide on the core of the plant and we're going to do the same procedure we are going to put on some nail polish on that top area or the the bottom part the core of the plant make sure it's sealed off and no uh, excess moisture or water gets to it that will cause the uh, plant to rot all right so there you go we have applied the nail polish and as well as we could sprinkle out some fungicide it will dry off with the uh, nail polish as well all right so no problem with the uh, bottom part uh, just make sure you close off the uh, wound where the uh, top was cut off and then uh, just leave it as it is and you will be able to see uh, pops from it I'll try to update it uh, update you fellows on how it looks when it uh, starts to grow pops below it uh, we're done with the uh, bottom part and uh, I'm going to work on the top uh, part that was uh, broken in half by stray cats all right so uh, we'll start that in a bit uh, just uh, give me a, a moment to uh, prepare what I, ha I have to do to plant the uh, top portion so right folks so this is how it looks like we're going to plant it just like that uh, it's a bit bit uh, planted uh, deep because uh, like I have mentioned Sensibria chai ho has a very heavy top and it will not be able to support itself so well, we're going to plant it uh, deep on this big pot and hopefully it will grow soon and uh, will be able to support itself by uh, by leaning on the uh, sides of uh, the uh, pot that we, we are uh, going to place it on all right so that's how it looks like that's uh, how the leaf below look like and we're going to uh, pour on some uh, potting mix by the way I'm using this type of uh, tool to uh, pour on the potting mix it's easier and it doesn't 
uh, mess up the uh, potting mix that you you're going to pour on the pot okay so we're going to fill in the pot with our potting mix all right it's a bit a bit deep and we're doing it so the plant can support itself when it uh, decides to keep on growing new leaves or if it will show us in fluorescence or its flower bloom new leaves will stop growing from the topmost portion or where the uh, uh, flower stalk grew from and will just start uh, giving you pops all right Okay, so that's how it's going to look like, fellas. This is a big pot, by the way, and uh, Chai Ho has been uh, uh, leaning over due to its heavy weight. So we're going to plant it uh, deep on this uh, pot. Alright, so I guess we're... Uh, almost done with the top portion all I need to do is to fill in the pot then uh, put some rocks to uh, make sure that the potting mix would not float when I'm uh, watering them and this uh, centipede hybrid is good to go all right so uh, just give me a moment folks uh, I'm going to show you how we're going to deal with the uh, leaves that we took from this uh, specimen and uh, they actually will be useful in propagating uh, little chai hose uh, although not as fast as uh, this one could grow or a pup from, from it would grow not as fa fast as which as, and not as big as pups that you will be getting from the rhizome itself the uh, pups that you will be getting from the leaves will be smaller ones and uh, we're going to do a, a water uh, propagation on th these leaves and I'm going to show you uh, some procedures on how we do that in a bit All right, so folks, we're done with the uh, potting of the sensitive bee hybrid uh, chai ho or chai yo. Uh, I'm going to describe, uh, I'll give you a brief description of uh, the hybrid. As you can see, the new leaves, they're silvery in color, and then the bandings are dark green. But then the old leaves, as you can see, it's not... Uh, silvery anymore and they're greenish all right those were damaged by the cats that toppled it uh, fortunately they're not so uh, broken all right so going back that's how a uh, hybrid chai ho looks like the old leaves are greenish new leaves are silvery those are how the uh, leaf tips look like uh, feeling uh, of the uh, back shell the back part of the leaf they're smooth uh, the adapt shell or the front area top area of the leaf they are also smooth all right so this is uh, everyone uh, folks this is hybrid chai yo and this was bred by people in 
Onyamani, Suwon Onyamani uh, Garden. Probably by the uh, Promoti Brothers. And uh, this is a big specimen, almost half of it we have buried under the pot. So to make sure that it will be able to support its heavy top if in case it decides to keep on growing new leaves. Uh, I'm not sure if it will give me a flower bloom when it does give uh, you a flower bloom or a flower stalk growing on the core of the plant. It will stop growing new leaves for you but it will give you pops instead. So no more growing taller when uh, you have a flower bloom on Sansevierius. Alright, so there you go. That is, folks, hybrid Chayo. And this is a mature specimen that I was for, I am forced to top cut, or somebody, or the cats, the stray cat, top cut for me. Therefore, uh, I ha I am forced to replant it uh, again and uh, do some adjustments for the form to get better. All right. So this is it for the uh, top portion, and uh, like I promised, I will show you what we'll do with the. Uh, leaves too much leaves that we have plucked on the bottom part of the stem to uh, make way for the roots to grow all right All right, so folks, uh, like I promised, uh, I'll show you what we'll do with the uh, leaves that we took off from the uh, bottom part of the stem. So there are two ways of uh, making use of them. One is you could uh, water propagate the uh, some of the leaves, uh, and also some will. Uh, plant it uh, using a potting mix and uh, we'll see uh, which one grows uh, or roots faster compared to uh, or between the uh, two methods of uh, leaf propagating them so first off uh, like always we're going to use hydrogen peroxide and we'll pick out a few of the uh, leaves then spray the portion which has wounds when you have plucked them from the uh, stem part of the uh, sensivere all right so those are the uh, wounded parts just spray hydrogen peroxide and uh, if you want you can allow them to dry but uh, since I already sprayed hydrogen peroxide I could just uh, either plant them right away or uh, put them uh, in the water so what I have here is uh, this uh, aluminum uh, glass I'm uh, always using this to water propagate uh, some leaves and they work for me so I'm going to do it and uh, you need uh, I'm using rainwater and we're going to fill uh, the cup uh, or uh, this uh, aluminum uh, glass halfway something like that all right and we'll put in some uh, fungicide put them put in some uh, uh, this is called Othmacoat and they're slow, slow release but uh, I just put them in the water they will d dilute slowly just a little one a little bit and uh, 
put in some systemic pesticides so the insects wouldn't mess around with uh, the leaves that you have water propagated all right so we're gonna uh, these are the leaves that were badly damaged when uh, they were toppled down there you see the damage is there so I might need to spray uh, some hydrogen peroxide to disinfect them make sure they don't rot and I have one two three four five leaves five leaves all right so let me just uh, spray some hydrogen peroxide on the wounded areas where they got damage and then what I'll do I'll just leave it like that you know and then just have them rooted after they rooted then I could either just keep them that way or uh, replant them using a soil mix all right so the other half uh, we have uh, four leaves left I'll just use three and just get rid of this one all right so three leaves I don't usually follow how uh, other people uh, plant their leaf propagations I have my own technique and I usually just have them in this manner and then have them planted on some little pot all right so let's have this pot fill it in fill in that pot all right Okay, and then just place them as such. Alright, just fill in the potting mix lightly. Just like that. Put in some systemic pesticide make sure none of the aphids would come to it put on some uh, slow release fertilizer put in powdered uh, fungicide and we're done with it so that that's how it looks like I'm gonna leave it like that and I'm going to uh, give you an update on which ones will give me uh, pops faster all right or which ones will root faster okay so it's as easy as that uh, folks uh, when it comes to leaf propagating an unvarigated uh, specimen or sensiviria, uh, easy peasy, and uh, this is what I usually do. And I'll just give you an update on um, how things go with regards to the uh, top cut uh, portion and the bottom part that was left and the leaves that uh, we have uh, water propagated and the other one is uh, potted in uh, leaves that were potted in uh, soil mix all right so this is it for this episode follows and uh, i was forced to do this episode because uh, like i mentioned uh, there was a, a a catastrophe a catastrophe and I have to uh, repot the uh, damaged plant it was snapped and or broken into 
and it had to be done right away and the leaves have to, uh, we have to make use of the uh, leaves that were plucked from the stem and uh, I'm showing you how to uh, leaf propagate with water and uh, potting mix as well as to top cut and uh, what to do with uh, the bottom part and the top part of the uh, one that was broken into all right so i think uh, this is it for this episode if you like the content uh, folks please don't f forget to like and subscribe to the channel thank you everyone